Alright, listen up boys, we've got a lot of updates to cover today. So first of all, we're going to talk to Mr. Serenity right here, just to uh, change something which we'll get to uh, later in the video. But first, we're going to head to the Mythical Guild because now you can replay the, uh, you know, the Galvec fight in the Dragon Slayer 2 quest. You can replay that if you want. Hold on, let me find this pool. So if you head into the Myths Guild from this entrance right here, you go to the pool, which is over here-ish. Wait, where is it? Here it is. Pool of Dreams. See if you reminisce. You can refight Galvec. I'm gonna die immediately, but that's fine because the uh, the death here is safe, so that's that's fine. I should die immediately because I haven't got any dragon fire. Hey, look, mines. Something funny during the quest. Everyone seemed to run into these mines, and I never run into them. So uh, let's just see what happens. Oh. That's what happens. Anyway, so that is a safe death. Pretty sure if you're a hardcore Iron Man, you won't lose your status if you die here, so that's fine. And you can also rewatch some cutscenes. The next thing is to do with these five tomes of fires I have in my inventory. Now I thought, well, I can make some quick money by just buying five tomes of fire before this update. But I'll probably, like, not even profit. I'll probably lose a little bit of money. So if we go to the Winter Todd camp, and as you know, you get tomes of fire from the Winter Todd. And we talk to Ignicia, which is this girl right here. Welcome, brother. And we go trade in. Do you have something for me? You wish to exchange an empty tome of fire? I can give you 100 burnt pages or an extra supply crate for each of one. So uh, let's get some burnt pages and let's, uh, let's trade some of them. Trade like three of them. One empty term of fire is 100 burnt pages. Now you're thinking the profit, you can you can see where the profit would come in now. I bought these for about 420k each and so these at the moment are going for 4.2k so I didn't actually profit like at all but yeah. Let's trade in some supply crates. Damn, I got nothing. And now we're gonna head to the Poo H to do some shield painting. And I haven't got this built so this heraldry space right here, let me just build a... Uh, Build a, a shield easel. Smack smack. So before today's update, you could only paint rune kite shields and full helms and steel kite shields and full helms. But now you can do adamant ones as well. So just to show you, let's uh bam 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 adamant heraldic helm. And you know how I uh, was talking to Serenity earlier? That's what he does. He chooses which crest you have painted on your stuff. So if we go and put the uh, if we go and use that on there. Ooh, dragon. So I have my dragon crest equipped. And uh, oh, look, it's a cool little dragon. Still counts as adamant kite shield. It is just more cosmetically pleasing now. So let's get out of here for the next. Next thing, this bracelet of <laughs> Ethereum right here. So now we have a new option called Toggle Absorption. Your bracelet will now automatically absorb Ether from defeated revenants. Meaning, when you kill a revenant, now if they drop Ether, which they usually do, it will be instantly absorbed into this bracelet rather than just sitting on the floor. Then you'd have to pick it up and manually use it on the bracelet, which is very nice indeedy. And now we have the biggest list of bug fixes that I've ever seen. So the first one, the most important one, if you saw my last video, that was about the glitch with the grave collection system at Volcraft. That has now been fixed. Good job, boys. We, we got it fixed, man. We got it fixed. So now, players who die inside of places which carry a grave collection system, like Vorkarth, Grotesque Guardians, and like Zora and stuff, after having been in PvP situations, such as a PvP are doing, like, most damage to you, the PK will no longer be credited for the kill, meaning that the boss that you're killing will get credited for the kill and therefore your items will get given to whatever the grave collection system is rather than them getting dropped on the floor for the PK but then it's an instance so the PK can't pick them up and then as you die the instance gets deleted so your items get deleted with it. Next, Vorkarth's acid pools will now trigger more consistently if running over them. So this means before you could run between these two squares and say there was a pool on this square right here, that one. Here let me drop my... my trusty rune med helm there. So say that was an acid pool right there and I was running here, I wouldn't get damaged by that acid pool but now I will be since I'm running over it. And I am skipping over a lot of just graphical glitches which you can read up on in the link in the description if you want. I'm just covering uh, the main points that actually affect gameplay. So I'll show an image now. If you remember what puzzle boxes look like, they've been changed slightly because if you would open them, so you'd open the puzzle box interface and then click open again, all the tiles on the puzzle box would disappear. So Modash fixed that and then while he was fixing that, he also made it a lot nicer to use so it's like smoother so rather than clicking a tile and then it would flicker back like you know what I mean if you've done um if you've done if you've done puzzle boxes before it now doesn't do that and it's a lot smoother and just much much quicker to react much more interactive which of course is very important because it's a puzzle box you can no longer receive unlimited replacement gems from the gnome during one small favor so you remember that part in one small favor you could continually just like drop the gems and just keep like claiming them more and more so for iron man you could just get like infinite gems that would be oh that was pretty op they renamed crush dragon bones to crushed superior dragon bones since the crushed bones that it was referring to was the crushed version of the superior dragon bones not normal dragon bones even though you can't crush normal dragon bones so yeah right here crushed superior dragon bones that was just to clean up any confusion and uh, that is about all of the uh, all of the functional like gameplay updates again like I said there's a bunch of um, there's a bunch of graphical glitches and bugs that were fixed along with a few other bugs which didn't really affect gameplay but 
They're addressed in the link in the description if you want to go read them. And uh, that is all of this week's update. I'm going to go sell these uh, these burnt pages, see how much money I make, if any at all. Oh no, I've lost money. Well, because I bought the books for 420k each. Oh no. Whatever, I lost money. Oh well. That's what I get for trying to merch. And uh, yeah, that is all of uh, this week's updates. I will see you next week with Peking with the new Dragonstone Dragon Bolts on my pure. Yeah.